one, okay? Mm? Okay, be back with you in a little while. Just now, okay? Think about what story you want to hear. Okay, now, what story would you all like to hear? Madame Tetra's Tooth. Madame Tetra's Tooth it is. Now, you all know anything at all about that story? Yes, that's the best story in the world. The best, best story in the world? Yeah. Okay, well, now I'm going to tell you the best story. He played a get out of fool, a daughter, fool, a daughter, fool, a daughter. He played a get out of fool, a daughter, tra la 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 la. Come on, me. Go away, you young deceiver, young deceiver, young deceiver. Go away, you young deceiver, tra la 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 la. Now, take a home, my Maria, Maria, Maria. Take a home, my Maria, tra la 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 la. Okay, good, back in. Okay, new one. Now remember, you have to be really be fine, young ladies. Now, would you like to hear a story about a dragon? Yes! There's a narrow channel of water that separates Trinidad from that whole big South American continent. Do you know what it is called? The dragon's mouth? No, no, the boca. Both of you are right, you know. This dragon was in control of that whole channel. And you know what? He had four heads. And these four heads, each of them had a big, big mouth. And all the four mouths, when they got together, were so big that they formed a boca. What's a boca? Well, that's what it was called when the four mouths got together, a boca. Now, down in this gulf, there were all kinds of animals. Who knows what animals they were? Singing whale. Music. Singing whale. Music fish. Music fish. Oil birds, drum fish, trumpet bird, humming bird, humming bird, singing well. Now, I'm not going to tell this story by myself, you know. So you will have to play the part of some of these. Okay? Who is going to be an oil bird? And who is going to be a drum fish? And who is going to be a music fish? You want to be a music fish? No. This big dragon, with all this lovely music, used to bring all these ships full of treasure into the gulf. And they could never get out because the dragon's teeth were big like islands. Now, the dragon rain. had a neighbor. Do you know what the dragon's neighbor was? Madam Tetron. Madam Tetron. But Madam Tetron was a wicked, wicked witch. And she was greedy, greedy, greedy. Yes. But she was also pretty, pretty, pretty. Well, Madam Tetron owned all the land in Shagaramas. But do you think she was satisfied? No. She wanted all the land on land and on sea. So she was thinking about a plan to get all this land. Madam Tetron had this plan that she would get Papa Bois to marry her. Well, the dragon wanted to marry Madame Tetron, because he knew that she was greedy, greedy, greedy. And he wanted to keep her in the gulf so that she would not try to steal any of his treasures. So he asked Madame Tetron to marry him. Hey. 
Major Paul Madame. If you may see me, I want you for my very own. To love and to cherish. Come, come, come live with me in my kingdom. Will you marry me and be queen of the channel? Of course I will marry you. But first, we must wait until the Pui trees and the flamboyant in blossom, and then we will have a bed of flowers on which to walk. Beautiful Madame Petron, of course. Do you think she really wanted to marry him? No! Oh, no, no. All the time, she was making a plan to marry Papa, Papa Bois. Well, so who is this Papa Bois? that she wanted to marry. He had a big palace way up in the deep forest on top of a mountain. And he was a good, kind king. He was old and he was wise and all the people in his kingdom loved him. And he didn't think it bad to do any little job, no matter how small it was. So, she felt that she would make a magic potion to make herself invisible, get into his palace, and then get him to marry her. A woman like me ought to have all of La Trinity. I will be called Madame Trinity. You will see. Ah, hold my magic basket, and I will cook this brew, this magical brew. Yeah, just for we know who. <laughs> Ooh. Yes, yes. Are we ready? Yes, yes, yes. Now, my dear, you go north and you go south, up the hills and down the vales, and I will own La Trinity, Mama Trinity. Then she went to his palace and spied on him, waiting for the moment to put a magic potion in his drink. And that would make him her slave forever and ever. But there was one thing wrong with Papa Bois. What do you think that was? He was unmarried. lonely. He was lonely, he was unmarried. And when there was nice full moon and everybody was in love taking walks and all of that. What do you think he used to do? Sit and, and watch, watch Sit and watch and sing sad, sad love songs. Ow, ow, ow. And everybody in his kingdom was very sad because of that. You see, Papa Bois had worked so hard in his young days that he didn't take any time to fall in love. Isn't that terrible? Yes. I well, need someone to adore, someone who will love me too. I get tired waiting for a love that will come true. Then one day, Papa Bois gazed from his palace and saw the most extraordinary sight. The beautiful princess was strolling with her friends along the seashore. He couldn't believe his eyes. I must be dreaming. This can't be real. Attendant, bring me my bamboo telescope. the woman in my dreams, that beautiful princess with beauty like rays of sunlight, whose laughter will light up my kingdom. Tell me quickly, what do you see? Quick, quick. Oh, great Papa Bois, I see a beautiful princess and her handmaidens being lured into the dragon's mouth by Madame Tetra and Gwen Maidens. I can tell that they are Gwen's. Their feet are turned backwards. Call the trumpeter birds at once. Trumpeter birds! Summon all the bats and birds from the caves, from the trees of the forest. Let them form a protective wall around the princess and her maidens. Fetch them and bring them here to me. Monsieur Tonto, that cruel sea dragon, shall not have her. 
that beautiful princess will be my bride. Open wide the palace gates, prepare for the coming of my bride. Isn't it beautiful here? I'm glad you like it here. Will you marry me? Papa Boa, I'm so happy you saved me from that awful witch. Yes, he asked her to marry, and there was a big beautiful wedding, and all the animals were busy fixing up everything. This ring represents strength, happiness, and peace. This ring represents our love and unity. Papa Bois and his bride were very, very happy. During the day, her beauty lit up his kingdom. And at night, her laughter peeled through the air while he sang her Beautiful love songs. Or just imagination. Well, not too long after the wedding, there was a beautiful little baby princess home. And there was going to be a christening. Mama Tetran all the time was getting more and more angry. She was very jealous of that beautiful princess and the baby. And so she decided that she would go to the christening. So she went to the dragon and she said, Ooh, Mr. Tonto, ooh, neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. What would you do if I brought you a little gift, a little princess? Go away, Madam Tetran. I trusted you and your stupid queen duennes. No wonder you have no teeth, and yes, I turn backwards. This time it will be different. It will be different. It will be different. This time it will be like a piece of cake, easy to eat. You want to bet? You want to bet your pearl tooth it will be? No, I do not want you. Anyway, I want you to see me. No, no. No. And the dragon did not believe her. She made up a big magic potion. And that magic potion turned her into the northeast trade wind. For that wind was to be the godmother. I know. I'll blow like the northeast trade winds. I'll be the baby's godmother. Yes, I'll blow. They'll never know. <laughs> I'll be the most Daddy, will make the rainbow. Who put it up in the sky? Who hung the raindrops high over the treetops? Who made the rainbow and why? Daddy. as the east wind, the wicked witch went into the palace, got through, climbed up into a tree, waiting for the christening so that she could take away the baby. Daddy, can you make the sun shine? Daddy, can you make it rain? Can you make a rainbow? And where does the rain go? But 
sun is shining again. But you know what happened? The real godmother came. And then they knew that there was a wicked person there who was pretending to be the godmother. And they went and they found her. It must be Madame Tetro. Catch her. Move now. Catch her. Her neck became Gaspery Island. Her mouth became the famous cave on that island. Now, although this happened a long, long time ago, fishermen from Karanage claim that they hear her screaming every leap year's night at one minute to midnight. As for Papa Bois, he and his beautiful wife and baby daughter lived happily ever after in great prosperity. Crack! Crack! Monkey Breaky! Crack! For Pisa Pama! The story! And! And the wire! And! Come out of the rain now, children!